Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Mrs. Kapoor and today we are diving into how to use proxies to scale your media buying revenue. We will discuss the key role that proxies play in scaling up your media buying revenue and we will also integrate proxies in Antidata Browser in real time to show you how to actually execute it. So guys, before we talk about scaling up the media buying revenue, we will first talk about uh, what are the problems or what are the hurdles you face when you start scaling your media buying revenue. So when you start scaling up, the first hurdle is needing more accounts. So since you use all of the accounts from the same IP and same computer, many of the accounts may get flagged or banned when used on same IP address, which makes proxies very essential part of scaling up media buying. Another challenge is conversion capping by networks. So let's say you are running a successful campaign that allows you to send 500 conversions a day. But uh, considering your traffic uh, capacity, you can send 5000 conversions a day. So basically you can 10x your media buying revenue. But what's stopping you is the capping so if you will have 10 accounts on the same affiliate program or let's say same affiliate network having access to the same offer or same campaign you can definitely 10x your revenue uh, easily so in this case again you will need multiple accounts and high quality proxies to use those multiple accounts and maintain without any hurdles so Another uh, hurdle or you can say another challenge you may face is uh, claiming multiple promo codes. So sometimes when you are a media buyer, you are uh, buying traffic from multiple ad networks. Uh, you may also want to use uh, regular promo codes in multiple accounts. So for that again, you need multiple ad network accounts to be able to use uh, one promo code in each of them. So this again require you to have multiple accounts and high quality ips so um, the big issue with multiple promo codes is that you can't use multiple codes on the same account so if you'll have 10 promo codes you will need 10 separate ad network accounts to use them so uh, let's talk about the solution how to scale up your media buying efforts let's say revenue effectively so to scale up media buying revenue successfully, uh, you need two key tools. First is an anti-detect browser and the second is high quality proxies. High quality proxies which are clean, undetectable, that keep your accounts safe and anonymous at the same time. And an anti-detect browser which is very essential for running multiple accounts without, you know, leaving any backtrace uh, of being linked so there are plenty of good anti-detect browsers in the market um, you can use any of the top 10 anti-detect browsers and it will work uh, well but when it comes to proxies not all are equal many proxies are overused or low quality making them risky for media buying so in this video I will show you how to test the quality of proxies before using them. So this will make sure the quality of proxy you are using is uh, very high and you are not uh, detected for using multiple accounts of the same ad network or affiliate network. So I will also demonstrate how to integrate uh, the proxies into an anti date browser to ensure safe and anonymous media buying and using this guide you can definitely scale up your media buying roi uh, so guys i've been recently experimenting with multiple proxy providers and i figured out uh, this very relatively new um, proxy provider which is called node maven and uh, i've used a lot of uh, times their proxies and i feel that uh, their proxies are 90% high quality and there is an option to you know choose and filter 
the quality of IP address uh, as per your need based on your uh, use case. So that's why in this video I'm going to um, explain how to use proxies, how to generate proxies from NodeMaven, test for quality and then we will use it in an entity browser. So before we do that, let's talk about NodeMaven's proxy pricing. So talking about the pricing plans, there are two plans, pay as you go and build monthly. So when you are build monthly, you will save 15% as it says. So let's say uh, we use pay as you go pricing. We will buy 5 GB of traffic. Then we will be paying 35 euros for that and price per GB is 7 euros. So when we switch to build monthly, we are going with the same plan which is 5 GB traffic, but we are paying $6 per GB and the total bill is only 30 euros per month. So which is 15% off. So I will really recommend you to go with uh, the monthly billing. But if your usage is not that much, you can also choose pay as you go. So guys, this is how my dashboard looks like and you can use this code at checkout to get extra 2 GB of proxy for any package except the free trial. So let's go ahead and explore the dashboard. So as you can see, this is my dashboard from here. I can, you know, buy new plans if I want. I already have some balance. Uh, so I will directly go to proxy setup and here you can see I have 5GB traffic left. So here we are going to generate 10 to 20 proxies. Then what we will do, we will test the quality of the proxies. So guys, we are going to generate 10 to 20 proxies and test their quality. And to test the quality, we already have this extension called pixel scan. Okay. And let's first of all generate the proxies. I will always prefer mobile proxies if you need 100% high quality proxies, but residential also good enough to start with. So let's choose residential, then you can choose country. Uh, let's say United States. Okay. Now you can also choose the region, city, ISP and all. You can choose session type, keep it as long as possible or you can keep it rotating for each click. Then here's IP quality filter. Once you turn it on, it uh, automatically adds a very small string here like filter medium in this proxy command. So this is like normal IP quality filter and will give you medium quality proxies. And this is uh, the proxy username, password, the host and port. So uh, this is basically how you will generate uh, the list of proxies. How many proxies you need? 10 to 20, let's say 20. Now the thing is, here's a catch. So we already have this uh, filter medium. So when we will test these proxies, uh, these proxies are definitely a high quality and medium quality. If you definitely need high quality proxies, then you will change it to high. Okay. So always you will get high quality proxies. So this is the high quality filter. This is the thing I have figured out uh, while, you know, using node -run proxies with my anti detect browser. So for example, I will choose a uh, high in all of them and then copy the list. Then we will go to pixel scan dashboard. Uh, this is uh, one of the best bulk proxy checker tool. I've already been checking uh, node women proxies with this. So I will rerun this test and show you. Okay. I will type in my proxy list. It has 20 proxies and it can test up to 50 proxies in one go. I will hit check proxies and now it will take like a minute or two to, you know, uh, give you all the results. So as you can see, all the IPs are very high quality and very unique. So this is the power of Node Maven IP quality filter that can give you 100% high quality proxies if you're using it for, you know, very, very high priority purpose. For example, multiple account management, which is a very crucial thing 
uh, if your IP is you know not unique or not high quality, your accounts are definitely at risk. So this um, is a result of uh, a pixel scan uh, proxy testing tool. But if you are not looking for that high quality proxies, you can definitely choose the medium quality filter as well. So um, that's the thing. And now we are going to use our anti detail browser and integrate all these proxies into it. So guys, using these proxies in any anti detail browser is very easy. I'm using my favorite Dolphin anti browser. It is free anti detail browser. So uh, you do not need to pay uh, as long as you need only up to 10 browser profiles and uh, as long as you only need to you know add proxies manually so let's go ahead and add a proxy this is my proxy list i have been adding all my proxies manually here and this is um, how you can you know add all your proxies so the same way we are going to add node maven proxy into it as you can see this is my proxy list i will only copy one of them and then go to my dolphin entry and this is the quick input once you uh, paste the proxy command here everything uh, all the details will automatically be populated over here you just need to type in the proxy name uh, which is node maven high quality okay just that and just add the proxy so this is how you add it but if you want uh, to add all 10 or 20 proxies, you will need the mass editor, mass edition, uh, which is not uh, for free. You need uh, to upgrade. So I have given my link to upgrade your Dolphin anti uh, browser plan in the description and the first comment of this video. So do not forget to check it out. Uh, it is a special link where you will definitely get some discount as well. So. Since we already have added uh, one proxy from Node Maven, which is high quality proxy. Now we can go ahead to the list of our browser profiles and add create a profile. So you can, you have two modes, general and advanced. I recommend you to go with general one right now only. Click on the new fingerprint so that uh, whenever you generate a new profile, you already have a new fingerprint. Then give it a name, for example, um, if you are uh, trying to scale your Google Ads, so you may have need like Google account 1, Google account 2, Google account 3, the same way Google Ads, okay, then you will also need to identify it with uh, maybe the Google account ID or something like that, whichever you have, uh, for example, right now I am going to give it like hash 1 or you can also say like whatever the number is, you can type in the number, right, this way. So this is how you do it. Okay, create it uh, and you can choose its status. I will say ready. You can give it a tag like Google ads. Okay, whatever the type of account is or for example, ad network, affiliate network, whatever it is. Then go to profile types like Google uh, or if you want to, you know, set up a Google login or password as well. I will choose none for now. Now, um, this time if you already have not added a proxy in the proxy list you can add it from here but since we already did we will go to save proxies type the proxy we uh, recently added then choose it and then go to create profile now you will see i have already added this profile and you can hit start so guys, um, in this uh, browser window, you can, you know, log into your Google ads and manage it and then scale up your advertising efforts uh, as long as you want. So uh, this is how you do it. Uh, you go to Node Maven, you buy high quality proxies, you have an entity date browser, you will create or buy the way you want it to be, like create or buy multiple advertising accounts and then send huge traffic to your campaign where you can and yeah that's how you scale um, your advertising campaigns that's my idea so um, assuming that you have already tested your campaigns you've already um, 
you know optimize your campaigns and you have already proven that you are getting a good roi on your advertising campaign in that case you can definitely create multiple ad and affiliate accounts and scale your advertising so guys this was it from my side about how to use proxies to scale up your media buying advertising revenue and this is how i do it so guys make sure you check out the links in the description which are the special links that give you definitely some discount on your purchase so happy scaling and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day bye